Hey YouTube, this is Sapermetrics, and I've got here a Cardfight Vanguard box opening to show you guys. Got a Set 5 Awakening of Twin Blades. Now this is actually my first box opening pretty much in a long time, so hopefully you guys enjoy. It's not exactly new, but um, I thought, you know, it, this is a quite highly sought after set, so might as well open a box. So here we go. Let's uh, get the plastic off. I've actually bought um, a few of these already, and I've, I've built... Uh, my main deck now around uh, one of the major archetypes in this set, which is uh, Majesty Lord Blaster, as you can tell by the playmat as well. But all right, uh, so actually, let me put this aside here. Let's start off with the first pack. And I'm actually gonna probably, um, I'll show the, the commons and rares actually quickly. All right. Um, I don't wanna show too many of them uh, because uh, it does take a long time, and my battery is actually running out right now, and it's not focusing, I don't think. Is it focusing? No, it is not. Okay. I guess I'll have to leave it here. Um, I think my camera actually only focuses when, uh, when I first set it up, so not exactly the best. All right. That's fine, then we'll make do. And we have a first hollow here, which is a triple R. Uh, pretty much, uh, it's a Murakumo, a Mandela, a Mandela Lord. Ugh, I don't even want to say the full name. This is 11k, uh, but it's not exactly the best pull. If you guys have opened blocks of this before, um, you guys pretty much know there's like the big three you sort of want to pull, if anything. Um, right, I'm actually going to go through these a lot faster now because, uh, yeah, I really don't want this uh, battery to die on me. So, got a rare there. And what is that? Double Child Rare. Alright, it's gonna go straight to it now. Uh, Street Bouncer. That's a double R. Cool. Actually, I'll put it over here. Separate the triple R's and the double R's. Oh, that's a very good rare. Uh, that is Burning Horn Dragon. So if you are running Dragonic Overlord at the end, that is one of the rares that you're probably gonna be running three to four of. Next pack, we have uh, Flame of Promise Ermo. That is also rare. And that's a good number of packs so far, two hollows. Oh, nice. We have a Wingle Brave double R. That's cool. Uh, probably mount down there instead. It's not really focusing too well. I apologize for that. Uh, my camera, it's, it's a camera, it's not a camcorder or anything like that. So, yeah. Oh, we have another Burning Horn Dragon. Very nice. Another very good rare. So yeah, as I said, I'm not really looking for anything in particular. Uh, we have a Knight of Purgatory Skullface, Shadow Pallet, rare. Um, just mainly just to, I guess, build up my trade binder and whatnot, you know. So uh, we have a Magical Police Quilt, was it? Yeah, Quilt. Rare. Getting through the left side here. Uh, oh, nice. We have a Knight of Loyalty, Bedivere, double R. Very good for uh, if you run Majesty Lord, Blaster, Royal Paladin. Um, I'm running two myself, so. Uh, next, we have uh, the Grade 2 uh, Marokumo 10k Vanilla, which is very nice. I think that's the second last pack in this side. We have Stealth Dragon Turbulent Edge Marokumo Grade 1. And finally, last pack on the left side. Oop. On one hand, I sort of like how Vanguard has the sort of like slit on the top where you can open the pack. Um, we have Conjurer of Mithril, rare. So yeah, I, I like the, the sort of slit here, if you guys can see, so you can open the pack better. But sometimes that happens if you don't really push the cards enough to the side. And then it suddenly becomes a lot harder to open, so... I don't know, what do you guys think? Uh, hey Yo Pineapple, I love that name. <laughs> it's actually a good card too. It's usable in uh, Neo Nectar. Ooh. Oh, nice. Awesome. We have Dragonic Orbital at the end. That is one of the sought after cards in the set. Very nice. So that's our second triple R. It's a very good pull right there. 
we have a grade 3 rare here, uh, Neonectar, Frontline Valkyrie, Laurel. It feels, I feel, I feel so rusty doing these right now, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, we have another grade 3, Murakumo, Stealth Fiend, Karama Lord, rare. Yeah, mixing up where to put packs, some sort of, it's all over the place. Oh, very nice. Uh, we have a uh, perfect guard for Neo Nectar, Maiden of Blossom Rain, I believe. Yep. And if you guys haven't seen this already, they've actually changed it so that now you sort of get like this gold border around uh, the perfect guard here. And then also they've changed the wording. It's called a Sentinel now. That's a very nice pull as well. Always welcome more perfect guards. So that's uh, four double R's and two triple R's. So we have, uh, I think, one of each left. Right, we have a 10k vanilla for Neo Nectar this time, Iris Knight. Very good. Nice rare there. Nice, very nice. Uh, Knight of Friendship K. That's another Royal Paladin. Um, well, mainly for Majesty Lord Blaster, Grade 1 Hollow. That's very much used in the deck. I personally run 4, so I know the importance of that card in the deck. Uh, next card, we have uh, the Murakuma Starter. Stealth Beast, Evil Ferret. Grade zero. Cool. And about halfway through the right side. So close to three quarters of the box, I think. Uh, Stealth Dragon, Cursed Breath. Rare. So we have, I believe we have one triple R left. Uh, we've got the starter now for uh, Neo Nectar. Uh, Shield Seed Squire. So yeah, one hollow left out of what looks like to be about five or six packs. Um, we have the grade one now for Murakumo. Uh, Stealth Beast, a uh, million rat. I believe that is, yeah. It's kind of hard to read from this angle that I'm recording at. I'm sort of off to the side here, if you can tell. Uh, my tripod's like right down there, so it's kind of blocking me, but it's fine. All right, we have a uh, Kagero grade one, rare, demonic dragon, mage, Mahar. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Maharaga, that's it. <laughs> Got confused with that. Right, looks like about three packs left. And we have Miracle Beauty. Oh, nice. That is an SP pull as well. If you guys can tell, that's very nice. And I'll probably leave it there if the light can get it. If not, I apologize. Right, got, a, got an SP, very nice. So overall, wow, this box is actually very nice. Got a uh, perfect guard. Got two, um, actually three royal paladin card that, uh, cards that are very good, and uh, two out of three, I guess, really good um, triple R as well. I guess this is an SP, but yeah. Uh, we have stealth beast, evil ferret, another one. So the starter from Murakumo, and that's the last pack. Pack number thirty. I think it's pack number thirty. I hope it is. <laughs> uh, grade three. Uh, that is the neo nectar. Night of Harvest Gene. All right. So yeah, overall, I mean, m all boxes pretty much for uh, Vanguard, um, with very few exceptions, will have five double R's and three triple R's. If you get an SP, uh, more often than not, it will replace your triple R. So there we have it. Uh, those are my pulls. Oop, got sort of in the way of the light there. Bit of glare. Yeah, those are my pulls there. Nice SP pull, Dragonic Overlord at the end. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with the box. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll have more box openings soon. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get the next box that's coming out for Vanguard, which I believe is the extra booster. Um, I'll have to check out the deck list, or not the deck list, the uh, pack list, sorry. And I'll sort of base my decision from that. But uh, aside from that, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll uh, see if I can post more duels later on. So keep an eye out for that. See you guys later.